don't think the Brutyl uh, sealant is uh, working um, where I'm putting the screw in here so I am um, switching to uh, Zika Flex 291i instead so I am 100% uh, sure that uh, the screws are totally uh, watertight as you can see uh, right now the three old screw holes for the bollard is now uh, filled with some uh, epoxy and uh, yeah then I fill in some uh, Zika Flex and uh, then re-screw the screws and uh, then we hope it is completely <laughs> watertight. Uh, when I am uh, sure that it is uh, watertight I will then uh, drill the new uh, holes. Um, yeah, so I am sure that uh, it is not here where the water is uh, entering or anywhere else. So um, yeah. As you can see the screw is uh, conic and the screw hole is also conic so uh, it should not leak at all but um, I think uh, the reason um, for the leak right now is uh, simply uh, because the butyl sealant is uh, too thick uh, for this uh, kind of uh, repair so um, also therefore I use uh, Zika Flex. I just fill a little on the screw head here and uh, then screw in the screw. The screw holes is now uh, filled with some uh, Zika Flex. So I am 100% uh, sure that uh, it is uh, totally watertight here. As you can see, the bollard here <laughs> in the port side is also leaking a lot. Uh, some is uh, very wet of uh, water here. As you can see, the screw here is uh, the middle screw of the, the bollard and uh, it is not very well supported as you can see it is uh, just totally in the side of the wood so i think i will also build um, support uh, for the waster or wash washer 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 <laughs> um, yeah so uh, i can uh, press uh, the whole thing uh, a lot better together but uh, yeah I'm very excited to fix this side uh, now when I know a bit more um, how to, to fix it on the right way so um, yeah. but funny to see how it looks right now as you can see, it is uh, not leaking so much that uh, the area here is uh, wet, but uh, I will of course uh, fix it anyway, because uh, it is not good that uh, it is wet in the sides. Uh, not tight at all so um, yeah it's good that it will be fixed and again I check where the holes are located also from the inside as you can see here is uh, the front hole <laughs> and uh, it is 
the screw has not been uh, attached very much as you can see so um, it has definitely uh, has been leaking here yeah. and here we have the, the middle hole and uh, as you also can see it has uh, been uh, leaking um, if you look in the background you can see it is a bit dark it is a sign of a leak so um, yeah and maybe you can see a little metal screw to the left it is um, the one I will uh, fill on some uh, Zika flex uh, today and then uh, seal off the other three holes so it can get it can get a bit dry before I uh, grill out the holes and um, fill them with some uh, epoxy. Ah, it is hot, hot air. Well, of course, also uh, clean the area here. Hmm. Small hole. Aha. Very nice to see. Now I better understand why it is uh, leaking. As you can see, it has been uh, cut here in the side with a grinder or something, and uh, they have uh, just filled the hole with some uh, Zika Flex. But um, yeah, I think I will uh, fill the hole with some um, epoxy so it uh, don't leak again. But um, yeah, what a hole! It's a bit, bit big, big. And then fill out the hole with some uh, thickened epoxy. Oh, just right in there The uh, epoxy is now uh, filled in the hole and uh, I will then uh, tape off over the epoxy so it can uh, sit and dry. I don't know if um, it will rain or something today so I just will cover it with the tape and it will then dry I will then remove the tape. The screw holes is uh, now completely sealed off and I have uh, filled in some uh, CK flex to the, the screw in the top there and uh, I have of course also filled in some uh, CK flex to the front end here and um, the back here is uh, filled with some um, thickened epoxy and uh, yeah I will then let this side cure and yeah right now I have uh, then um, aligned the ball out here so we can drill some brand new holes and um, I have of course uh, aligned it so it is totally or perfect <laughs> uh, flat here so uh, it won't catch anything again if it hits something. Um, the system here is also uh, very smart made because when this one is totally pressed in here it will um, go against the boat hull here and um, if it hits something the hull will uh, support it, it a bit. So um, yeah, a bit smart. But when the ball art here is uh, wrong mounted as before here it will um, 
be a bit loose because it is not totally against the hull and then when it hits something then um, the screws will bend and then it will start to leak down in the holes there. I can show you the old screws from the port side here. Yeah, they they are also a bit a bit um, yeah broken or what do you call it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it is not so good. It is simply because they have uh, been hit by something and uh, bent the screws and of course it will leak there but I think the biggest leak here is um, as you saw in the side um, yeah maybe the hell has also uh, filled uh, or come in some uh, water here by the, the three screw holes but uh, I think the primary leak has been uh, in the side here as you can see the new holes will be a bit more uh, forward and a bit more uh, in to the middle of the boat. Uh, then this uh, area here will also support the bollard and uh, then the um, boat uh, hull will then also support the bollard when it hits something from the side again. <laughs> so I think it is here where the screw holes must be. Uh, if I drill wrong, I can al always uh, fill up the holes again and uh, drill another hole, but uh, I think it is okay, okay here. If I make a gap here, uh, a thing I also have thought about, um, I don't think it is so good because uh, then I don't get any support from the tow rail here. and. Um, the water will also run down here and uh, down on the on the side here so um, I think it is best that uh, I just put it totally together I had a little problem with my DeWalt um, grilling machine so I have uh, bought this um, Biltema uh, grilling machine. You are maybe asking, uh, is it not a stupid thi thing to do to buy a cheap, um, crappy uh, drilling machine from uh, Biltema? Uh, no, because um, the problem is when I have to uh, drill the holes here, you can see there's only uh, 27 centimeters here and if I use the DeWalt um, drilling machine then I can't get the right angle if you see here when I use uh, my Bitema uh, drilling machine it can easily, easily uh, be under the rail here but uh, if I am uh, using my DeWalt it can't it will uh, go <laughs> to the the rail here, so um, I can only drill from this side or this side. Uh, so that is the reason I have uh, bought this uh, little uh, screwing or grilling machine. So, um, but it is very very cheap. I think the price is around. Um, I think it is around 40 or 50 dollars or something so um, yeah <laughs> I must only drill a few holes so um, I think this one is uh, quite okay um, it has also uh, the function um, one <laughs> so I can uh, drill uh, or not uh, drill uh, screw uh, screws out and in so uh, it is uh, a very cheap and very okay machine for this little project here. The other side here is uh, of course the same distance as you can see 27 centimeters so it is a bit important to have um, not too long um, 
a drilling machine. As you can see, my uh, epoxy has uh, cured, and um, I have uh, looked inside of the boat, and it is uh, completely dry. So it is uh, working very, very well. So um, yeah. Then um, the next time I will uh, fill the holes here with some epoxy and um, put on some more Sika uh, flex here around and uh, I think I will uh, fill or cover this uh, part here with some um, um, polyester um, gel coat so it uh, can see the, the, the scratch or a hole there.